a team of researchers known for publishing controversial findings that challenge the idea of human influence on climate change has now released a study that suggests there has been no acceleration in warming over the last two decades. But, as other scientists have noted, there is mounting evidence that shows otherwise. Christie, a professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, claims the findings further support his conclusion from 23 years ago, in which he stated the current climate models had the atmosphere's sensitivity to CO2 much too high. In an article for The Guardian earlier this year, thermal sciences and climate expert Dr. John Abraham pointed out that the researcher has had to make numerous changes to his studies after other experts noted major errors. So, you can believe real temperature measurements made with real sensors, or you can believe manipulated temperature inferences made by a research team that has a track record for being wrong. Aspects person for the NOAA pointed out that there is a preponderance of research that shows a very different trend than that noted in Christie's research. Peter Tenz, lead scientist of NOAA's Global Greenhouse Gas Reference Network, explained that satellite observations, while good at measuring large temperature differences in the context of weather forecasts, are not reliable for small decadal trends, I.
Greenhouse gases are known to trap heat in the atmosphere and the oceans. And Tan says these effects will linger for thousands of years. The relatively large spread of modeling predictions has zero impact on the conclusion, based on solid observations and established understanding of physics and chemistry, that climate change is caused by human actions, and that we are just seeing the beginnings of it, Tans told Daily Mail. Comdoc the models will improve as we are able to test them with future observations of how climate change is actually unfolding in the next decades and centuries.